watching News 8. Michelle Stabell from the New York State Society of CPAs is back with us. Great to see you. Yeah, thanks for having me. So we're into February and mm -hmm. folks are, if they're not already, they're they're getting their taxes together and, yes. and thinking about their return. Let's yeah. fast forward to folks who are going to get a refund. Mm -hmm. All right, sure. now, plenty of them out there. Uh, and now ways to utilize that refund. Mm -hmm. what, what's at the top of your list? I would suggest paying off debt. I think almost everybody has some credit card debt or some outstanding debt. That's probably the best use of it. Should I try to hold back on, you know, buying impulse purchases and just pay off some of those balances? Okay, so you put that at the top because, mm -hmm. you know, I know one of the things you want to talk about is having an emergency fund. Yes. But you would address that debt first. And then once you've done that, mm -hmm. try and do what? Save a little for, it, for the rainy day, so to speak. Right. I think a lot of people have seen in recent, you know, with the government shutdown, recent mm -hmm. news, the, the importance of an emergency fund. So three to six months is ideal. If you are reliant on the next paycheck, maybe start putting some money aside so in case that paycheck doesn't come, it's not a huge crisis situation. Right. You've got somewhere to turn. Mm -hmm. All right. So we've done those two things in our in our. Um, imaginary world here. Yeah, sure. We still have a little bit left over. What are we doing with that money? If you have more money, uh, invest in a retirement account, maybe an education account for your kids. You can invest in just an investment account. There's lots of opportunities to make that money grow into more money. All right, right. So reinvest the money and try and make some more with it. Mm -hmm. uh, some people are eyeballing, especially this time of year, big purchases yeah. or perhaps planning a big trip. It's okay to use the money for that too, right? Yeah, and I would always suggest to save first, buy later, so then you're not paying interest. So if you mm. save your money and then pay for the purchase in full, it's going to save you, it's going to cost you less in the long run. Okay. Uh, and lastly, and this is the point that I think people have a diffi difficult time reconciling with, mm -hmm. but I know it's one you want to make. Getting that big refund is yes. as tantalizing as it is. It might not necessarily be the best thing for no, you. No, no, because most refunds are just over withholding from your paychecks. So if you adjust your payroll withholding, you could get more money throughout the year and have the money to pay off those bills ahead of time, and they won't hopefully get into these large debt balances. So I think the best situation is a break even on your tax return and get the money throughout the year instead of a large check at refund time. All right, let's leave it there. Michelle, thank you. Yeah. Good to see you. Thank you. So there's your advice. Do with it as you see fit, uh, best see fit, so to speak. Uh, also, some great advice online at the State Society's website, nyssCPA.org slash get money smart. As always, that link is on our site as well at rochesterfirst.com.